We also decided to do a video on a new bale trailer we had just acquired um, from a local dealer called DNH Equipment in Payton, Oklahoma. Um, we're trying out one of their trailers. Um, it's a 20 bale, uh, four by six is what we put on it. It's not 25 by, it's 24 by sixes. Um, it is two 10,000 pound axles. Um, it's a very nice trailer brand new we've only used it and hauled 40 bales with it so far called them to one of our customers to try it out um, we went ahead and purchased it if you're in the market for a good quality hay trailer um, DNH does not make these they just sell they just sell them um, we liked it over all the other ones we had looked at and checked out for a few reasons they had grease certs on the slides um, so we could slide it um, we haul so much hay that 20 bale is what we have to have. I know a lot of guys use a single rows. That works fine for them. Uh, the Ford one tons that we carry or use, um, they, they haul these, this trailer with no trouble at all. Um, in fact, it hauls pretty effortlessly. Uh, our 36 foot gooseneck we use the haul hay on, uh, 20 bales on it, and we have to double stack. This is twice as fast, but even it, has a little more trouble because it doesn't have so much tail hang because the wheels you can see the wheels are almost lined up and uh well they're offset a little bit here but the tail you get the weight back here on the end it kind of teeters forward and pulls a little weight off the truck as to where this one has a little more tongue weight i'm sitting up on your fifth wheel ball your gooseneck ball rather but that one works just fine but we're just trying to go to a quicker faster method i might hold 40 bales with this in about Got load time on one end, so it was hard to get to where we had it set at, but we knocked our load time in half and our delivery time in half. Um, the DNH equipment paid in Oklahoma before we bought it. And uh, we'll give you some reviews and updates on it if we have any trouble with it. And um, we'll show it in use, being used. Um, the LS has had no trouble shoving 20 bales forward. I did not get a video of Chance loading it that day. We were in a hurry and I didn't have my camera with me and forgot that I could use my phone for some reason. Um, so anyway, we'll get some videos of using it, but we do like the design. It seems very well built. Uh, I'll get the actual manufacturer's name on it and put it in the comments or in the uh, stuff below. Oh, well, Nanger found it right here. That's who made it. So, <clears throat> uh, Industrias of America. Industries of America, I think that's what that says. So anyway, it, built, it came out of Texas, but it's a good trailer. Um, we like it so far. We've only used it once though. So we're gonna put it to the test this year. And uh, Jeremy Kinnaman, my partner, has a Pride of the Prairie 14 bale, and we have used and abused that trailer. It's done really well and held up. So uh, we'll see what we can do with it. If we have any issues or problems with it, we'll let you know. Um, I'll also get a hold of DH equipment, see if they'll let us put them on the sponsor as our, our YouTube channel here, and, and you guys can buy from them direct. Um, they may give you a, a better bargain if you go on it or something. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get it all figured out and um, show a bunch of videos loading it, but uh, that's just a quick video on walking around with our hay trailer. Hope the wind wasn't too bad.